Hi, this is Gary Freeman with KGAB Mornings on AM650, KGAB, and KGAB.com with our What You Talking About, Cheyenne segment, because Cheyenne, we want to know what you talking about. Hi, this is Gary Freeman with KGAB Mornings, and this is our What You Talking About, Cheyenne segment, and we want to know what you talking about, Cheyenne, especially about Chick-fil-A. We have the new opening here right behind us. Brand new, standalone, the only standalone Chick-fil-A store in the whole state of Wyoming. And as you can tell, for the first 100 folks that come here, they will get a chicken dinner one week out of the year for 52 weeks. That's a whole year of free chicken dinner. And we've got all these tents out here. These guys are hardcore. They're staying the night. So let's go inside and talk to some of these folks and find out what they're talking about, about Chick-fil-A. Let's go. All right, so Carissa, what excites you about Chick-fil-A? You're staying the night, so why do you like this place? I love being able to bring my kids here. They're always family friendly and clean and great food. Are you a mall girl? Um, if I'm going in for Chick-fil-A. See, <laughs> I brought this up on the radio program and I know I'm not alone, me too. Yeah. Uh, unless I'm going to see a movie, basically, or something with the family, it's Chick-fil-A. So, uh, what about the product and the service? It's always great, and you know, it's it's a hassle to get my kids out of the car, If so I have to be pretty committed to want to go into Chick-fil-A. But once you bite into that chicken, you think, it. man, it was It's always it worth it. All right, very good. Chase, come on up here, my man. I think I just really enjoy the really good food. So I also appreciate kind of uh, their family values. Mm -hmm. And and what's your favorite chicken sandwich? You just like the chicken with the pickle and the bread, or you like to throw a little cheese on that I guy? Like spicy. You like spicy. Like spicy? Right on. And what about the French fries? Do you like those? Yes, sir. All right. I like them because they're not just thin and right. and all that. They're nice and thick and crispy. That's right. Yeah. So you're not soggy fries. So you're not afraid of meat, obviously. No, no. All right, well, that's good. All right, so Chase, and, and if you were to tell a friend why you would come to Chick-fil-A, what would you tell them? It would be for the food. I mean, I, and I also feel like even though they're super fast, um, I almost feel like it's not fast food you're eating. I mean, it's, uh, it's a wow. little bit better quality food. Right, probably, we won't say anything, but probably even a little better than what mom could make. Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, thanks. All right great. All right. So come on over here. What's your name? My name is Gary. Gary, my name's Gary. All right, the Gary and Gary Show. His name's Gary, I'm named Gary. Don't get us confused. Uh, my favorite is probably just the regular chicken sandwich with a pickle. Right on, so you're just kind of your basic chicken guy. I am, I well, am, cool. I am whatever that you're, guy You're is. kind of a keep it simple guy. I don't complicate my sandwich, just give it to me. It's right. true, but I do like that barbecue stuff they have. What's that called? The honey barbecue. Honey barbecue. So you would tell people, try the honey barbecue. Yes. A lot of people don't know they have it, but uh, shake it up a little bit. Well, Gary, thanks to you, we know about it now, don't we? It's in there. Get All some. Right. Well, enjoy yourself. He's one of the first 100. He'll be going through the door. He's going to get his chicken sandwiches for one whole year. That's 365 days of chicken, Gary. Can you handle it? I can. All right. There you go. Thanks a lot, Gary. You must have smelt the chicken all the way down in Colorado. Yeah, I had a friend tell me that if you come to a grand opening, you get 52 free meals, so. And when you're in college, every stinking pity counts, doesn't it? Exactly. Uh, tastes really good, and it's fast, and it's not too expensive. What uh, What is your favorite menu item on there, Carter? Just the number one meal. Chicken sandwich, fries, and a sweet tea. Well, there you go. Chicken, a sweet tea. I, I heard that little twang in there. Are you from Colorado? Yeah. Oh, okay, but you like to say sweet tea. I have a lot of Texan friends. They rub off on me. All right, very good. That's Carter. He's Come on over here. Come on down, brother. Ming? Yeah. Where are you from? Um, Colorado. You are Longmont? from Col yeah. Longmont originally? I was born and raised. Really? Yeah. Okay. Basically. So what is it, Ming, <laughs> that you really like about Chick-fil-A? Besides their food? Besides their food, I like their building. I think it looks really good. Isn't it a nice building? It is a nice building. Now, so if you were to invite a friend and say, hey, you really got to come out to Chick-fil-A, this is the menu item I want you to try, what would you tell them? Oh, um, obviously it's the number one. That's what we're here for, getting 52 free sandwiches. <laughs> right on, man! Yeah. 
Um, you can see I was the first in line. Oh, wow. Got my number one. He's got his number <laughs> one. He is number one, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ming from Colorado. Thank you. All right, and are you in college too? Yeah. Are you electrical engineer? No, microbiology. Microbiologist. How many of you in junior high school said, I want to be a microbiologist? I did, but he's going to become one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, right on. So, Tim, uh, what I, I, I know that you're a, you're a chicken guy. Uh, what is it that just drew you here today? I really, a lot of people like don't like this, but I really like the fact that they're closed on Sundays. It just like gives the employees guaranteed one day off of a week. So, so you believe everybody needs one day of rest? Yeah. All exactly. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, that's great. I do too, and they've been doing that for a real long time, and uh, uh, and so I, I think that's great. So you like the fact they give some time off? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Everybody needs a rest. Rest the brain, the body, right? Exactly. Yeah. All right. Very good. So uh, Tim, thanks a lot. All right. Here we got Mark, employee with Chick Fil A. He's responsible for the big fat cow that's out there on the street. That's a big responsibility. Uh, yeah, it is. It, it really is. is. It is. In a windy town. In a windy town it is, so you just tie this thing down? Yeah, that's the plan. Right. That's the plan. And then you got bragging rights, so when you drive by there with your friends, you can say, yeah, I put that cow up. Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. That's that's the hope. Yeah. Hopefully it's not flying up in the air. That's right. It's not a balloon. That's it's right. an inflatable. So does it give a man a sense of pride knowing that he put the cow up? Most definitely. All right. Most definitely. All right. well, it's thank all about the cows. That's right. Well, thank you uh, for your service, thank and, you and so we appreciate much. you taking okay. some thank time. You. All right, cow man right there. It don't get more Wyoming than that, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there are several things I like about Chick-fil-A. I like, of course, their food, and I like uh, convenience of uh, this new restaurant here. It's right along the bike path. I ride my bike, so I kind of just veer off and come in here. And uh, thirdly, I like the way they uh, treat their employees. Every employee gets at least one day off every weekend, yeah. and not many restaurants can provide that. Right, so we know that you know, obviously they're in business to make money, but they're not so money hungry that they can't give their employees at least one day off. Exactly. That's great. So what's your favorite uh, item here? Well, I'm kind of more on the health kick. I like the salads, all the salads. There you go. That's good to know. And that's the thing about Chick-fil-A, whether somebody's a vegetarian or they're a meat eater or somewhere in between, there's something for everybody. Exactly. And they change the menu so you get a little variety. That's right. And a favorite drink? I'm assuming water, but is there something else? Oh, uh, coffee. <laughs> hey, we got a coffee drinker. Right on. All right. Well, Jerry, thanks a lot. And I like how it's fast paced and I like the generosity and the honor we show. So people are pretty nice? Yes. Are they as nice as you? Yes. Are they as friendly as you? Yeah. So you're pretty excited about this new facility, aren't you? I am really excited. All right, great. Well, thank you. I love how it's fast paced. I love Raymond and Cindy. They're good to work for. They've been great. Um, it's just a fun place to work at. It seems very uh, like there's a lot of good benefits to it, working with some really good teams, with a really good business model. And uh, that's probably what's kept you around for so long? Yes. So uh, if you were inviting someone to come to Chick-fil-A, what would be one of the biggest highlights that you would tell them, hey, this is why you need to come to Chick-fil-A as a consumer? Uh, the food, it's good, it's fresh, and it's hot. So it's always good. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Sarah, for all you do. All right. Very good.